In this video, let's take a look at the new Assumption of Risk Waiver inside of Canvas. As you can see, I'm in the Modules tool inside of Canvas, and every Canvas shell comes with the waiver already installed in the Canvas course itself. So very easy to facilitate the waiver going forward. Let's take a look at the ungraded survey. The Assumption of Risk Waiver has had some small updates, and we've shuffled some of the information, information around. As you can see, this is still just kind of a very simple starting point. These are the instructions to complete the waiver. As all of us are very well aware, we need all of our students to complete this waiver in order to participate inside of our classes. So this is a requirement for our classes. If they've never filled out a survey inside of Canvas, here's a little small link that will help them get through it. And of course, they always have access to a hard copy, a PDF of the waiver that they can download and print and save on their home PC or Mac very easily. This is an ungraded survey inside of Canvas. So it's never gonna show up inside of our gradebook. They can do this as many times as they need, so if there's a mistake that they've made in the survey themselves, or if they forgot to hit something or fill in one of the areas, they can go back and they can continue to refine their submissions as many times as they'd like. In addition, we're only showing them one question at a time, so please make sure that they're aware that there are four different areas that they need to enter into uh, in, in the survey itself to successfully complete the, the, the survey. Let's go ahead and look at the survey real fast. We'll preview it. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. We have an area for our first name. We also have a question that allows our students to enter their last name. By separating these two fields away from each other, we make a spreadsheet that is very easily sortable by first name and last name. In addition, we also have an area for their phone number. Please make sure that you communicate to them that they need to fill out both of these fields. Of course, we need to have their area code and their phone number to successfully contact their emergency contact in the rare incident or occasion that there is an emergency in the class. Uh, the fourth question in the survey is for our minors, and they have a separate series of expectations to complete the waiver. Simply, they need to download it and have their parent, parent or guardian sign the waiver before returning it to you. If they're not a minor, if they're over 18, just click the, click the next button, and then they finally see the waiver in the, the last area of the, of the survey itself. This is the exact same waiver that you've seen in all of your classes before this. It's identical. We didn't change a single thing. And at the very bottom here, we have the final agree button, and this is how they complete the waiver and accept the assumption of risk for this class. So when they're done, they're going to hit the submit quiz button, and all of this is going to be saved inside of Canvas. At the end of this process, what you as the instructor are going to be able to do is to manage all of this quiz information in the quiz statistics. Let me show you what that looks like. I have that open here in a new tab. So if we return to the root quiz itself, in the upper right-hand corner, we have this survey statistics button which is gonna allow us to download all of the information from this, from this uh, survey itself. And you can do this on any quiz inside of Canvas, by the way. You're gonna see down below kind of a global um, understanding of how the students performed on, on, the, on the quiz. But if you need a specific student's phone number or a specific student's emergency contact information, the student analysis button up here will allow you to download a spreadsheet file that will allow you to go in and get specific student information. When you click on this file, it's going to generate the CSV file for you automatically. If, the, if you have a very large class, this is going to take a minute or two, but once it's done generating all of this information, it will automatically download the waiver, and you can open it up or email it or use it in whatever capacity that you need. Please keep in mind that this is protected student information, so anytime you download information from Canvas, you need to be uh, actively managing its location out there inside the World Wide Web. You can keep it for your own professional records, uh, but please do not be emailing this to anyone outside of Los Rios, because we need to be following all of our FERPA guidelines and our FERPA FERPA laws to, for our student information. If you have any questions on how to facilitate and manage the Canvas uh, Assumption of Risk Survey, please don't hesitate to contact the DE team at crc-de at crc.losrios.edu.